Hi everybody, my name is Connor and I'm an educator at the St. Louis Zoo. Now today I'm in the woods and I'm looking for tracks and signs of invertebrates. Now you might be wondering, what is an invertebrate and how can you track them? Well, an invertebrate is any animal that doesn't have a backbone. Now we are mammals and all mammals have a backbone going down their back to help them bend and move and run and do all of the things that mammals need to do. But some animals can do those same things without a backbone. Things like snails, well they might not be as good at running, but they certainly have a structure from their shell. Things like worms that have no hard structure, but they're still able to wiggle and flex their muscles to dig through the dirt. Beetles are a great example of something that has a hard, what we call an exoskeleton. Another great example of an animal with a shell is a freshwater mussel. Now this is an empty shell, uh, the mussel is gone, but what this is, is a sign. And it tells me that there are mussels in the lake next to me, and there are also animals that must be wanting to eat these mussels because this shell was way out of the water and it was clearly something that something had been munching on. So we're gonna use our nature detective skills to go out there and find as many invertebrates as we can. Hope we will find some really cool, unique things. I love looking for invertebrates because every time I turn over a log or a rock, I tend to find something new or I learn something that I didn't know before. Now a quick thing to mention is also our nature etiquette rules. All of the things that we do to show respect to nature, when I flip over anything at all, I'm always going to return it back to the way it was when I found it. That ensures that animals can continue living in that spot. Let's go and see what we can find. The first thing I see is a cellophane bee. They live alone in underground burrows, unlike honeybees that live in big hives together. This six-spotted tiger beetle has a striking iridescent covering to make them easy to find, but they're fast moving, so take pictures quickly. This moss was a great spot to find invertebrates. Um, now I searched through it just a little bit because I knew that it made an excellent home for bugs, especially like this beetle larva. Now, I don't know what beetle lar this larva will become, but I did see that it had recently molted. So over here on the right we see it sheds skin, and that's a sign that this larva is growing and very fragile. So I didn't want to touch them too much, and I went ahead and left the shed skin there and gave them their space. Do you have any idea what this animal is a larva of? It might look familiar to you. Let's see if we can find an adult. Aha, it's a monarch. Caterpillars and butterflies of this species have bright colors, just like this zebra swallowtail. And these two huge regal moths. Uh-oh, we have something squirmy in our path. It may be as big as a snake, but this is no snake. This is a nightcrawler which is really just an earthworm, and they usually come out at, well, night. <laughs> this is a good sign that the soil is moist and it's almost sundown. We'll go ahead and let them cross our path and keep going. Do you have any idea what this brown lump could be? Inside this egg sac could be thousands of invertebrate babies. The babies are of a praying mantis like this one. Now, unlike caterpillars, they don't have metamorphosis, so the babies look just like the adults. Next, we find some decomposers, globe snails. These globe snails found a yummy snack under a log and are slowly eating their way through it. Thanks for keeping our forest clean, little guys. Here's a nice sign that summer is coming, a cicada. We see these empty shells hanging on trees left behind as the adults hatch out of their old shells and grow their wings. Here's a leggy friend and a sign that a cave could be nearby, a cave cricket. And this is not everyone's favorite sign, but a welcome one for me, a black and yellow garden spider. This is a big female ready to catch some unsuspecting flies in her web. Another spider, but it's certainly a harder one to find, this is a fishing spider. Their approach to hunting involves more camouflage and stealth. Under this log is another interesting sight, an orange spotted armored millipede. I guess this one's a little camera shy. Can you see another wiggly invertebrate in the water? That's no worm, that's a leech. Luckily I had no plans to swim. And what another beautiful scene here, a seven spotted ladybug. 
Ladybugs love to eat aphids. Now this big green bug is a common true katydid. Those big wings actually can't fly and instead they're used to make their loud screeching mating calls. Here is my favorite little decomposer, a roly-poly. See how it uses its special antenna to feel around? Many bugs and crustaceans like the roly-poly use antenna to feel, smell, and even hear their surroundings. This was a special sight, another type of cricket, but this one wouldn't live in a cave like our cave cricket. This is a mole cricket, and they burrow in the ground, just like the cellophane bee. Now my favorite spot to look for signs of invertebrates is in creek beds. All over the Midwest, we can find invertebrate fossils in creek beds, and they aren't hard to find either. Watch as I grab a few rocks at random and show a few crinoid fossils. Crinoids are usually the easiest fossils to find. They look like small disks stamped into the rock. At first glance, they may even look like bubbles in the rock. Crinoids are still around today, but they are ocean animals closely related to starfish and sand dollars, and they haven't been native to Missouri in a long time. But signs of them are everywhere. Each disc we see is actually a section of the crinoid stalk that supports the crown on top. Here we see a few of the discs, and we see a picture of the crown. Here's a fossil of the crown. When they're alive, that crown looks like a big flowery starfish. Here's another welcome sign of summer, a green June beetle. There are some of the prettiest beetles we have in Missouri. Finally, the sun is setting, and this Halloween pennant dragonfly decided to show off its striking orange colors. I was welcome homed by a leaf-footed bug on my windshield. This hitchhiker was well camouflaged for the forest, but not so much the blue sky. Wow, we found some really cool invertebrates. We found all shapes and sizes, all kinds of things in different areas, on flowers, under logs and rocks, even in the water. Thank you for tuning in. I had an awesome time sharing this experience with you all, and I hope you enjoyed our video. Take care and have a great rest of your day.